Re-enable touchpad with function key. The number one cause of Dell touchpad not working is when users accidentally disable the touchpad feature. Standard laptops include a touchpad-specific function key merged with the F keys, and F9 is the most commonly used. Start by holding the FN key, then press all the F keys located at the top of your Dell keyboard. Next, determine whether the touchpad returns to work. Certain models require you to hold down the function key while tapping the touchpad key. Note, multiple users reported that they lost their touchpad functionality following a Windows update. However, they were able to resolve the issue after discovering that their touchpad had been disabled in the control panel. Step 1. Launch Run by pressing the Windows key plus R. Then launch the control panel by entering control panel and clicking Enter. Step 2. Navigate to hardware and sound in the control panel, then mouse and touchpad. Step 3. Within Mouse Properties, click on Additional Mouse Options and check to see if your touchpad is activated. If not, go to the Dell Touchpad menu and select Enable Device before restarting your computer. If you can't locate the settings mentioned above, open a new run box, type main.cpl, then press Enter. That should open the Mouse Properties window. Now, navigate to Dell Touchpad and click on Change Dell Touchpad Settings. Then, in the specialized Dell touchpad area, turn the touchpad toggle from off to on and press the save button. Lastly, see if the problem has been resolved. Update Rollback Touchpad Driver Step 1. Launch Run by pressing the Windows key, plus R, then launch Device Manager by entering devmgmt.msc and hitting Enter. Step 2. Expand the mice and other pointing devices, drop-down box in Device Manager, right-click on Dell touchpad, and pick properties. Step 3. Navigate to Driver tab in the Dell Touchpad. Properties window and hit the Update Driver option. Step 4. In the next window, check the option that says Search automatically for updated driver software and wait for the new driver to install on your computer. Note, if the wizard informs you that you already have the most recent driver, return to the driver page and select Rollback Driver. Regardless, restart your computer after you finish and see how things turn out.